Everybody wants to learn to code, make cool shit, make tons of money, and have really bad posture. Well, how do you start? Where do you begin? As somebody who has been coding for a really long time, here is how I would start and actually learn to code. Coding is a skill, and with any skill, it takes time to get good. It also takes time to get comfortable. So give yourself time. Don't rush trying to make super advanced things straight away, or give up too early because it seems like you're making no progress. You will probably start somewhere here at the bottom, where everything seems hard and you want to give up. But, do you remember? Give yourself time. Because eventually things will be easy, until they're not again and you seem like you know nothing. But this is an ongoing loop of going back and forth that never goes away. The thing is, you need it to be hard, because that's how you learn. If it's all too easy, then you're not really learning. So don't be discouraged when you don't know how to do something, we all don't. What language should I use? How do I decide? What's best? Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Choose whatever you like. Because at the end of the day, yes you are learning that language, but more importantly you are learning patterns and problem solving that can be transferred onto other languages. The only thing I'd recommend is choose one language and get good at it. Don't pick more than one to learn at the same time, because that's where things get complicated and confusing. Just like how I at school had to learn Spanish and French at the same time, and ended up learning neither. After you picked your language, you'll be learning its syntax, and that's good, because it means over time you'll be able to use this language more comfortably. But in reality, the most important skill you gain from this is problem solving. Basically, everything in coding is solving problems, breaking them down into small chunks, and resolving them. And this skill can be used in any language, so don't stress over if you should pick C++, C Sharp, Python, or whatever else. Let's say you learn how to make sorting algorithms in C++, but you never used C Sharp, and now you need to make one there too. Well, you know sorting algorithms, and how they work, and even though you don't know C Sharp syntax, you still have an understanding of what needs to be done. This is far more important than knowing exactly what to write. Especially in coding interviews, they will most of the time be more interested in your thinking, rather if you can memorise syntax. Now, I know, it can be hard to decide which one to use, so give yourself a tryout period, where you try a few different languages and see which one feels more comfortable and better for you. Then, just go with that one. The biggest piece of advice I always give to people is to just start doing stuff. When you're physically trying things out and give things a go, you learn way more than just watching a YouTube tutorial. Now, let me make this clear. If you're for instance watching a course video, which is making you do things along with it and monitoring that progress, then this is good, because again, you are practically doing things. The thing you want to avoid is just mindlessly watching a YouTube video about coding. It's the same way that watching someone ride a bike is not going to teach you how to ride one yourself. So sure, you can watch videos, but make sure you are coding along with it. So, what resources should you use? And to be honest, there is so much out there and so much to choose from, it can be a bit overwhelming. So here is a quick guide. Tutorials are good, again just make sure you're coding with them and not just downloading the source. Books and similar resources online are good too, especially as a point of reference. Most of the time I actually find these to be better than videos. Things like ChatGPT are a no-go, and I will go on to that in a moment. Online courses are a good thing, but again make sure you are doing things with it. And that actually leads to our sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is actually a platform where you learn by doing. It has thousands of interactive lessons where you can develop your skills, and not just programming, it has other skills like maths, data analysis, etc. Like I mentioned before, the most effective way to learn is to do, and that's exactly what Brilliant helps you do. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you try things out by yourself. Plus, the content on Brilliant is crafted by actual teachers, researchers and professionals who know what they are doing. Like I mentioned before, you want to build up your generic skills, like critical thinking and problem solving, not memorising. And that's what Brilliant helps you do. Not only build up your knowledge, but also make you a better thinker. In a moment, I will be talking about habits and experience, which are super important in improving. With Brilliant, you can just load it up every day and do however much learning you want, to help you build real lasting knowledge. Especially since you can learn on the go on your phone at any time. Specifically, I would look at Brilliant's programming courses, which teach you essential coding elements, from loops, variables, to nesting and conditionals. Ironically, I know they are a sponsor, but genuinely, Brilliant is a great way to improve on your skills. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zyger, or scan the QR code on screen, or alternatively you can click the link in the description. You also get a 20% off on an annual premium membership. Like I mentioned before, you want to make coding a habit. Do it often and ideally every day. I know everyone is busy, so even if you only get one hour of coding in, that's better than nothing. But from my experience when you're starting out, I'd aim to do like 2-3 hours a day, 
so that you keep building up your skill. If you have a long break where you stopped coding, it will be hard to get back into it, so stay consistent. Just like with anything, you need to gain experience. This takes time and you can't really speed it up, so just aim to do as much as you can every day. Now, when I first started coding, AIs were not a thing, but they are everywhere now. Most notably for programming, ChatGPT seems to be the go-to. And honestly, if you are learning to code, I'd avoid this. I know some people will disagree, but let me explain. You want to build real skills where you learn and do the doing. When you're using AIs, the problem solving and critical thinking that you should be doing is being done by the AI. And honestly, it's going to be so much harder for you to learn. Imagine if you were in class doing some maths problems and the teacher just gave you the answers. Sure, at the time it would be cool, but in reality you learn nothing and have no accomplishment from it. Now yes, AIs can be useful, but when you're starting off I'd just stay clear. Everything you need can be found online with just a bit of googling anyway, and it's so much more rewarding solving that problem yourself. Plus, as a quick mention, AIs a lot of the time use really stupid coding practices that you ideally shouldn't be using. Something you will encounter when learning to code is getting stuck. You will do this often. At the time, it may feel like you don't know what to do or how to get out. But don't worry and don't panic. This happens all the time to all programmers. Personally, here is my go-to method of getting unstuck. Start by simplifying the problem. Usually, any problem can be broken down into more manageable chunks. At first, the problem may seem unsolvable, but you'll be surprised that with a quick simplification, the task can become easier. So something that originally looked like one step can become five steps or whatever you break it down into. The second method is time. Give yourself time. You'll be surprised, but sometimes leaving the problem and doing something else can be the best way to solve it, because you come back to it with a clear mind. Personally, I do this all the time where I sleep on my problem and wake up in the morning and solve it immediately. This is particularly prevalent if you are staying up all night trying to solve something. Your brain and body will be tired and honestly, I find that usually the problem doesn't get solved anyway, so you just stayed up for no reason. Now, this doesn't always work and that's okay. Recently, I had to implement something called deferred rendering. This was really hard and I tried for five days straight, but I didn't give up and eventually I found a solution and it worked. So don't give up, and also don't be afraid to ask for help. That can be online, teachers, friends, discord, whatever. So I'm going to leave things here. Make sure to subscribe and like if you want to see more content about programming. And also to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zyger or scan the QR code on screen, or alternatively you can click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thanks for watching, bye.